Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite things out there, the Polar and the Toggle. We're going to go into two different companies, the differences with them, the similarities, um, how the cameras work, how they operate, and where you can find them. We're also going to talk about why Polaroid photography and instant photography is not as mainstream as it could be, and what the companies can do and change in their own business model to essentially make their cameras and their products more accessible. So the first camera we're going to talk about is the Fujifilm Instax, which is this guy right here. And this guy right here. Um, yeah, so this is the Fujifilm Instax. It comes in a lot of different colors. It's a pretty modern, sleek design. How this camera works essentially is it runs on batteries, which go in right here. It's uh, four AA batteries. And you load in the film on the back right here. Kind of just pop it in and you're ready to start shooting. At the top you can set the exposure for either indoors, overcast, sunny, or really sunny. And then once you've set that, you look through the viewfinder and you're good to shoot. This camera shoots out the film on the top and it's about a credit card size piece of film. And yeah, it produces good quality images at a portable and compact size. The film goes, you can find it for cheaper. But typically, if you just go to Urban Outfitters, which is where you can get this stuff, um, it'll go for $24.99 for two packs of 10 shots in each pack, which is uh, honestly pretty good because the stuff we'll get into right now is going to be a little more pricey. Now, my preferred brand and preferred company for instant photography is Polaroid, which is this guy here. And then it just pops up. So, Polaroid was a company that was started in 1937 and was extremely popular throughout the 70s, 80s, and 90s for their instant photography. And essentially, their whole message was bringing a community, events, families, friends together by coming around and watching a picture develop in front of your eyes. So, even though Polaroid was hugely popular in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, they had to stop producing film because the manufacturer said the return just didn't make sense for how much money they were putting into it and therefore just stopped doing it. In 2008 when Polaroid decided to stop producing all of the film for the cameras is when Impossible decided to step on the scene and start refurbishing the old Polaroid cameras and started making their own film. So the Impossible Project has a bunch of different models and styles of Polaroid cameras that I'm really, really looking to get. But unfortunately, right now, this is the only one I have. This is the Polaroid Land Camera Sun 660. This camera is fairly easy to use. To open and load the film, you just push the trigger there. This film typically goes for $34.99 for eight shots. And the reason that it's so expensive is because the battery is on the back of the cartridge. As you can see, these two these two things right there. To operate the flash on this camera, you push down this red red trigger right here. Or if you're in an area that is well lit and you don't need flash, you can override it by using the second trigger here. But to expose the image, you have these arrows right here. The dark one obviously would make um, the image darker, the light one would lighten the image. To focus, we have this sonar right here. It essentially shoots a sonar, detects how far the main subject of the frame is, and will then focus on a subject that is that distance away, making for a pretty crisp image. So you can get these, these cameras easily. You can find them on the Impossible Project and Urban Outfitters online or in store for around like 160 Canadian dollars. I really like Polaroid photography because I feel that it's the truest, most raw form of photography. Um, nowadays with Photoshop and Lightroom and all that stuff, it really doesn't take a talented photographer to capture a good image. All you really need to do is click the shutter, upload the images into Photoshop and play around with it for two and a half hours. But with Polaroid, once you click that uh, shutter, that's it, it's game over. There's no manipulation of the image, and it's just how it was initially seen. Instant photography is an extremely niche sector of photography. This is mostly, in my opinion, due to the expensive price point for the cameras and the film. If companies such as Fujifilm and Impossible 
want more people to participate in instant photography and to purchase their stuff, I think they need to really start addressing that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and yeah. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty even better. Until next time. Until uh, what, what do I say? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you later.